Hey guys, welcome back to Alan Walker Theories. Today we're going to be ranking all of Alan's songs. So I have a whole little uh, list made up with everything we need on like tierlist.com. I have a link in the description if you want to follow along. Um, other than that, let's jump right in. So the categories are masterpiece, a favorite, pretty good, not bad, overly mediocre, would skip, yikes, and no. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to be putting all of these, but I have 379 and 431's responses already up on my phone because they weren't able to join me live for this. So we're going to start off with End of Time. Um, kind of mixed feelings about it. I really like Nova, uh, the original song, but End of Time just feels a little bit watered down to me. But it's not bad, it's just like not my favorite. So let's just put this in overly mediocre. I feel really hard to start this way. How did everyone else feel? Pretty good and overly mediocre. I don't know, is this like a controversial opinion? Let me know in the comments. Like, it's just not like a standout song to me, I guess. Um, all right, next, Alone Part 2. Um, I have mixed feelings. Again, Alone Part 2 really grew on me. Like originally it wasn't what I had anticipated, but it's not bad by any means. I would put it in like, not bad. Like it's in my playlist. Um, let's see, a favorite and pretty good. Okay, I guess I'm really harsh on that one. Cause I know Alone Part 2 is really popular among a lot of people. Like, I would say Alone Part 2 is really catchy. It's just not like, it's not the typical genre of music that I listen to. All right, um, Avum, the aviation theme. Oddly enough, I really like this. It's very catchy. I don't really feel like it's very popular though, by any means, cause it was just an instrumental track. How do the others feel? Would skip and would skip. Okay, I am very controversial by putting this in uh, pretty good. <laughs> uh, I don't listen to it all the time, but it, I definitely like enjoy it when it comes on. I don't typically seek it out though. Play. I really like play. Definitely a favorite. This is probably like a, one of my favorites. I just like the layers, the vibe, the continuous energy of the track. That also got pretty good, and no! Oh, okay, this is a controversial one I see. I think Play is pretty well received, according to his Spotify. I mean, it's a t it's his seventh most popular song, so. Very interesting. I feel like most people like it, but then again, I feel like most people like all of Alan's songs, because otherwise you wouldn't be a fan of Alan, so. Ooh, Live Fast. This goes in no, definitely goes in no. I no hate to anybody who likes live fast i just don't like rap and hip-hop so it's just it, it's just going in no for me i'm sorry not my thing are you lonely um i think I'm, this is gonna go in not bad i'll get to lonely later in the list i think it's one of the last songs but are you lonely just feels like the mixing on it is just not the same as the original lonely and i think that's why i don't like it as much I know I just said I don't like rap or hip hop, but I think just the flow of the original Lonely flows better than the Are You Lonely. I don't know. Let's see, how do people feel about Are You Lonely? That would be overly mediocre and pretty good. Okay, so not bad is fair. All right, different world, pretty good. It's definitely different than like anything Alan's done. I don't really think any other track sounds Overly similar to it, um, overly mediocre, and not bad. Okay, well, on to the Spectre. Pretty good. So 379 thinks it is pretty good, and 431 thinks also pretty good. We're very consistent this time. That's good to know. Routine, um, not bad. I just don't listen to it a lot. It's not really my thing. It's good catchy background music though. Um, routine is went in wood skip and wood skip. Okay, um, interesting. Yeah, routine is often forgotten about. I forgot it existed up until now, but I don't hate it by any means. Diamond Heart, definitely a favorite. I'm not gonna say it's a masterpiece, but it's very good. Also, oh wait, I should be ranking these left to right. I'm gonna do that at the end. I'm gonna reorder everything. 379, thanks. Diamond Heart is overly mediocre, and 431 thinks that it is also overly mediocre. Interesting. All right, Dark Side. Um, 
I'm gonna put this in not bad. Just good, just regularly solidly good. Um, Dark Side has received a favorite and a favorite. All right, all thumbs down. I'm gonna have to put this in overly mediocre. Again, it's not bad, it just doesn't stand out to me. It's catchy, it's just not like my favorite. I say that about literally every song. There's no songs that aren't catchy. I mean, All Falls Down does fall in overly mediocre and a favorite from 431 and then 379 thought it was just overly mediocre. So that's very interesting. So many polarizing opinions. Tired, oh I know this is a hot one. I'm gonna put tired and not bad. Actually, no, pretty good. I like tired. It's just not like my typical thing because it's slower, but not as energetic as some of Alan's other slower songs. Um, 379 has uh, tired in a masterpiece and 431 has tired in a favorite. So I feel critical now. <laughs> alone, oh, this is easy, masterpiece. Undoubtedly, alone is just mwah, chef's kiss. I love it. Absolutely cannot get enough of this song. Um, it was, I think, what, like, the second song I heard of Alan's. I remember I listened to Faded, Sing Me to Sleep and Alone, and I'm like, this is it, I'm a fan. And now we have Sing Me to Sleep. I'm even gonna go and say Sing Me to Sleep is better than Alone. Just the finest, the finest of the fine. I think we all have Sing Me to Sleep in a masterpiece, and then Alone was either in masterpiece or a favorite. So we're all feeling around the same lines on this one. Faded. Now, I really like Faded. This is definitely going in a favorite. I don't think it's a masterpiece simply because it just reminds me of all the cringy like Roblox covers that exist and I don't need to be reminded about them. It's also a little on the noisy end, but otherwise like almost a masterpiece. I might move it up later. I gotta think about that one. Um, 431 puts Faded in yikes. Do not pick th this fight with me. Pick it with him, please. Um, and 379 puts Faded in pretty good. Um, heading home, the new version. I'm gonna go and say, I'm gonna put it in pretty good. Um, it's not bad. Again, it's just more of like a tropical chill style. And I think part of the reason I originally disliked it is because I knew the original demo and what that sounded like. And this was just sort of a stark difference. So I was much more, took me a lot longer to warm up to it. But I have to admit the bridge on the new version is just beautiful and I love it. I wish more of the song was that way. I just think it's, it, but it's, it's like a catchy, groovy song. So 431 says the new Heading Home is a masterpiece and 379 puts it as a favorite. So we're all on the top tier of the songs. While we're at it, let's go do the Heading Home 2016 demo. Not bad, let's just put it in not bad. I, I've never really listened to it all that much just because I guess I prefer the live version. 431 says it's not bad. And 379 says overly mediocre. So all kind of on the same page where it's just not bad. But I really do appreciate the fact that Alan did put in the 2016 demo just to sort of like, hey, the song has changed, but here's more of what it originally sounded like in 2016, which I really appreciate. I like that thought. Time Remix, definitely a favorite. This is almost at the masterpiece tier. This, honest confession, I want a whole like cinema style score from Alan. Like, EDM cinema, cinematic music. That would be so cool. Um, a favorite and not bad. Okay, interesting to note. I like Faded a lot. I feel like I would definitely be ranking it higher if I hadn't heard it a bajillion times. Like it's not a bad song. It's just, I'm getting a little tired of it because five minute crafts, you have ruined this for me. Overly mediocre and would skip. Well, Spectre. Let's see. I'm gonna put this in pretty good. I really like Spectre. It's groovy, overly mediocre, and overly mediocre. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead and do Unity. This is this is very controversial, but I would skip Unity. Um, this is not to fault anybody who worked on the project. It's just it's just there. Unity was in yikes. And yikes. So I'm, I'm a step above yikes, guys. I'm really sorry. I don't hate Unity. But I also don't hear it all that often because it's not on Spotify. So, all right, this is Force. I would definitely say Force goes in 
not bad. For the same reasons as the other tracks, it's good background music, but it's not like something I listen to on a regular basis. Force goes in Wood Skip, and a favorite. So, very interesting there. On my way. Oh, not bad. I keep putting everything in not bad, just because there's like a lot of tracks that are like really good. A masterpiece and pretty good. Okay, that's fair. But I will I will openly say the cover art for On My Way is probably the best cover art of any Alan Walker song ever. I love it. Masterpiece there. So I guess let's just jump into Lonely. I'm gonna go and say pretty good. It's not really a favorite just because the rap part wasn't really my thing. But I, I do like the really heavy bass and the rhythm. That I do appreciate. It's very groovy. Lonely itself, I think, I forgot to put it in when 379 ranked, but he's, he, I know he said it would be below Are You Lonely. 431 puts Lonely in, yikes, do it all for you, would skip. But it's definitely good, like, study music. Um, do it all for you is not bad for uh, 431, and pretty good for 379. Very interesting. We have some very varied opinions. I don't want to go. I'm going to put that in Overly Mediocre. 379 puts, I don't want to go in yikes, and um, I don't know if 431 even ranked it. Oh, he did. He put it in overly mediocre. All right. Um, Lost Control. I'm going to put it in. Not bad. I really like the vocals on Lost Control. I just feel like it's not as strong all the way through. Um, Lost Control for 431 goes in overly mediocre, and 379 puts it in yikes. Lily undoubtedly is a masterpiece for me. I love Lily with every cell in my body. Lily was a favorite for 379 and pretty good for 431. So I think Lily is definitely well received by a lot of people. And I'm surprised to know it's his fourth most listened song on Spotify, even though it did not have the promotion or music video or anything really on Alan's channel. Next we have Ignite. This also goes in masterpiece. I'm actually gonna go and say Ignite, I think is his best collaboration period. I love Ignite. Ignite went in a favor for 379 and pretty good for 431. So, um, how about Sky? I'm gonna go, go put Sky in pretty good. This is controversial because 379 puts it in wood skip. Oh, oh and so, so does 431. Neither of them like it, I guess, but I like it. Um, it's catchy. It's upbeat. Um, sheep. The sheep relift. I'm also, the last three items I have here are the two relifts Alan's done, Sheep and This Is Me, and then Him for the Weekend Remix. I know this isn't a remix tier list, but it's one of Alan's most iconic like remixes, and I think a lot of people know about it, so I'm just including that there. Sheep. This is so unpopular. I like Sheep. It's going in not bad. The drop of Sheep is oddly catchy. The rest of it is like not that great. Is this not bad? Sheep arrives in yikes and no on everyone else's tier lists. So this is definitely my hot, hot opinion there. This is me. Um, I'm gonna put this in pretty good. I like it. How did everyone else feel? This is me is wood skip. Interesting. And our final song is Alan's Hymn for the Weekend remix. This is a masterpiece. I love this. It is so good, and it has been one of my favorite Alan songs since forever. I'm just so sad it can't be on Spotify because this would be on all of my playlists if it was. All right, I think this is my final tier list. I have used up all of my songs. So these are all of our tier lists. Um, as you can see, quite a bit of variance, but very interesting. There's gonna be some controversial opinions, so. Please don't go all pitchforks and torches on everybody, be kind. This is not to attack anybody, these are just my opinions. I don't hate any of these songs, they're just not necessarily my cup of tea all the time. And I think that's all we have for you guys today. So if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, again, let us know in the comments. Maybe consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time.